everybody. My name is Allison. I'm the Programs, Outreach, and Youth Services Manager here at Monterey County Free Libraries. Thank you for joining me today for another episode of Backyard Science. Today we are going to be talking about beehives and honeybees. And this video was inspired because while I was visiting my mom in San Jose, I saw two beehives being made in trees. So one beehive is a few houses away from my mom's house, and it has been in the hole of this tree for a few years. It's a very well-established hive and has a ton of bees coming in and out of it. So we had seen that one before, but while we were out walking the dogs, we noticed that a block away, a new hive was being created. And this one had many fewer bees going in and out of it, but it was very interesting to see the two different hives so close together. This made me want to do some more research on honeybees and beehives. And I'll share with you what I found out. Honeybees live everywhere except the North and South Poles. They do not live in very cold climates. They live in big groups called colonies, and these colonies live in hives. Up to 50,000 honeybees can live within one hive, so that is a lot of bees. And each bee within the hive has a particular job. Each hive also plays host to only one queen, and the queen produces all the baby bees inside of the hive. The other bees inside the hive are worker bees, and these bees go out and get pollen from the flowers and help to pollinate different plants in nature. And they also get nectar from the flowers, which they bring back to the hive to create honey. When a worker bee comes back with nectar, they put this nectar into a honeycomb shaped cell made of wax. And after a while, this turns into honey. Honeybees first appeared roughly 35 million years ago in Southeast Asia. One thing that I found very interesting is that when a hive gets too overpopulated, some bees will go off and start a new hive. So I'm wondering if the bees that I saw a block away from this old hive have been crowded out of that hive and were going off to start their own hive. It was very interesting to see and I will be interested to visit again and see what the hive looks like the next time I show up. After this video, I am going to show you some clips that I took of the bees going in and out of the hive. But first, I wanted to share with you some of the books that I used for research for this video. The first one was Time for Kids, Bees. And this had tons of great information and great pictures of bees and beehives. The next was called Bees by Deborah Hodge. Again, very great pictures. And this one also had some very fun activities that you can do at home to enhance your knowledge about bees, honey, and hives. The last book that I used is a new book. It's called If Bees Disappeared by Lily Williams. And this provides some very good information about the role that bees play in our ecosystem and also the devastating effects that the disappearance of bees would have on the world. One of which is that we wouldn't have access to some of the fruits and vegetables that we so much enjoy now because we depend on bees to pollinate them. So stay tuned for some video of the actual hives and thank you so much for joining me. I will see you next time on another episode of Backyard Science. Mm -hmm.